Florida Sheriff's Office employee fabricated carjacking by two black men to cover up self-inflicted gunshot wound, Sheriff says. Fascinating. Ah, Florida, the downward pointing thumb of America. <laughs> it's always good to see you again. The only state that's shaped like an ongoing sign of disapproval. A former staff member, they made it clear that he does not carry a badge and a Florida Sheriff's Department was behind bars Sunday, accused of lying about a carjacking and shooting. Dakota Wood, 21, is charged with alerting Hernando County Sheriff's officers to trouble at a park in Wikibachi early on Friday, June 30th. A news release from the Sheriff's Department says Wood described an attempt by two black men to steal his car with one shooting Wood in the thigh after threatening to kill him. This is similar to the case of the craft store Karen, where she made up the story about two Spanish people attempting to kidnap her kids. It's the concept of implicit bias, which is a preconceived notion that someone is capable of doing something only because they're of a certain race or a certain gender. He shouldn't be working around law enforcement, even if he's not a cop. For all we know, it could have been one of his meth-smoking relatives. See what I did there? Wood, who worked in telecommunications for the department, claimed he fought back and fired five shots. Authorities say Wood reported hitting one of the suspects stop the cap. Let's be honest with each other. If he had that type of backbone, he'd have a badge. <laughs> they didn't even give him the respect to call him a dispatcher. They said telecommunications like he was some glorified receptionist. Wood's gunshot wound was real jokes. He was treated for it at a hospital, but when detectives arrived at his bedside, Wood reportedly admitted the rest of it was a lie. Detectives say Wood described a disagreement with his girlfriend, which led him to drive to the park. He reportedly shot himself while playing with his gun in the car. And that's exactly how a perfect love goes wrong. <laughs> Got into it with his little lady in his car with blue balls playing pocket pool and shot off the wrong gun. Wood received a certificate from a criminal justice academy in April to become a field training officer. He was on the way. The Suncoast News reports Wood has resigned his sheriff's office job because who's going to look him in the face and not laugh at him after that? He might have been suspended. I'm laughing right now. He might have been suspended or fired anyway because he faces charges ranging from filing false reports to tampering with physical evidence. As embarrassing as it would have been to report a himself on himself crime, he would have been better off just owning up to it instead of blaming the brothers. My administration has a very public reputation of holding my people accountable for their actions, Hernando County Sheriff Al Nienhaus said. 